In this how-to video, you'll learn how to set up your LucidLink cache disk for best performance on Microsoft Windows. You'll also learn when you should change the size and location of the LucidLink cache. This video is for Windows users. There's another video dedicated to Mac OS. The LucidLink client uses a local cache to store blocks of encrypted data that you've streamed from the cloud. All data that's streamed into or out of LucidLink goes through the cache. By default, the cache for each connected file space will be in your Windows user profile directory and be up to 5 gigabytes in size. For each connected file space, you can change both the cache size and cache location. Before changing your cache location, consider that any pinned data will need to be re-pinned once a new cache location setting has been applied. To learn more about pinning, read our Knowledge Base article. The LucidLink cache works best when it's on an SSD or NVMe drive. They're fast and are the only drive that meet the demands of a high-performance LucidLink cache. If possible, make sure you're using a drive of this type with an internal interface, Thunderbolt or USB-C connection. To check the type of disk you have in Windows, open the Task Manager and select Performance and then the drive. You'll see the disk types listed. If it's not SSD or NVMe, you should move the cache to another disk if you want to achieve the best performance. You can also check the file system that was selected when the disk was formatted by right-clicking on the disk and choosing Properties. For best performance, this should be NTFS. If it's set to something else, you can't change it without formatting the disk. Formatting a disk wipes all the data from it, so you'll probably want to do it on a new disk. You can use an internal or external disk. If you're not sure which disk to format, check with your IT or system administrator. Remember, formatting a disk wipes all data from it. To format it, right-click it and select Format. Choose NTFS and leave the default allocation unit size. You can give it a volume label too if you want. Click Start, and when the format is complete, click OK to close the dialog. Now the disk is ready, you're able to change the settings in the LucidLink control panel. You should only change the location when you're not actively uploading to or streaming data from the file space. Each file space you connect to has its own cache configuration. Open the control panel for the file space you want to configure and select Settings. Click on the Cache Location field and choose the drive letter for your new disk. You can create and use a subfolder if you want. Press the green check icon and confirm. Click on Reconnect now and once confirmed your cache is now stored on the new disk. If you look, you'll see a new folder called .lucid appear on the drive. To change the size, click the Local Cache Size field and set it to the desired capacity. My disk is 128 gigabytes, so I will increase it to 100 gigabytes to leave some headroom for optimal disk performance. If you've moved your cache onto an external disk, make sure it's plugged in before connecting to your file space. Don't unplug the disk until you've disconnected. Please note that if you've configured your cache on an external disk, it will only be usable on that computer. Other computers you might use will need their own unique LucidLink cache to be configured. Thanks for learning how to configure your LucidLink cache. You can learn more at LucidLink's knowledge base, and you can check out other how-to videos and workflow guides at lucidlink.com.